Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to the long range weather forecast discussion from May 11th to the 25th. From May 11th to the 15th, we have a, um, a series of disturbances that will uh, rotate around a trough in the east. And then we have this Rex block and a split flow in the west that will gradually break down. This ridge will build into the western states, and then um, this will lead to a negative tilted or positively tilted trough here across a large portion of the country. Now we're going to talk about the surface. Um, that's something else I'm going to talk about. Okay. Um, we will have energy in western Canada, and that will allow a, coastal, uh, a closed low with the Great Lakes to shift eastward into the plates Monday and Wednesday. So go to Monday and Wednesday, and you can see that's it, the system in the plains. Monday through Wednesday, and the weather system in the east will cause moderate to heavy rain over the weekend as energy transfers to a coastal low, and we'll back it up to the weekend. And as of now, it's supposed to uh, stay offshore. Northern stream energy brings light precipitation uh, to the northern states, and the northeast Sunday into early next week. See, you can see uh, here. I like to show the GFS because it shows it the best. Um, and then we'll have a trembling front and embedded impulses aloft across the south that will intercept a return flow and cause rain from the southern Rockies to the Gulf Coast early next week. This will bring more heavy rain to areas that don't need rain. You can see right here, these are the various models. And um, this is the area they receive, like, uh, just been experienced flooding, especially in Texas and so forth. So this is air doesn't need any more rain. Okay, we're going to look at the period now for uh, May 16th to the 20th. And then we see we have a uh, pattern revolves to a ridge in the west, trough in the east. Heights are below normal here across the Arctic, and we have above normal heights here south over uh, eastern Canada. So I'm calling for this forecast period. It hasn't changed since the last uh, all week. Let's go back here. Calling for above normal temperatures here. And I'm calling for anomalies be near 6 degrees or more above normal, mainly here. Below normal temperatures are forecast for this region with anomalies of 2 to 4 degrees below normal. For precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for much of this region here. Probability of occurrence 35%. Still not very confident this will evolve as, as is for this region. I'm not very... Um, confident at all too so calling for uh, above normal precipitation from this, this region and the reason is which i've been saying in the past that the models keep switching so um calling for a 35 percent chance of probability of above normal here uh we're gonna look now at the pattern for uh may 21st to the 25th and then you can see the pattern revolves more to a zone of flow but if you look here at the um GFS kind of uh, below no, below normal heights across the northern states. Now, I'm going with uh, with the uh, consensus here, but look at the GFS, but also look what's going on over Greenland. Uh, not Greenland, over Eastern Asia. Now, this is, we start to see a little bit of a troughing here. This is a GFS, a little bit of a troughing, not much. See the trough up here. And then you look at the European, it's similar, a little bit of a dip, northwest flow. So we can see how this evolves. So uh, for this forecast period, I am calling for above normal temperatures here. And I'm calling for anomalies to be 4 to 8 degrees or more above normal, mainly here. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for this region. Uh, probability of occurrence is 35%, and then we have above normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is 35%. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for May 11th to the 25th. Thanks for coming to Jim Unley's World of Weather, and have a good day.